Hey Pisces! Welcome to the weekly love reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is from September 12th to the 21st. So for my newbies out there, hello! Thank you for joining, subbing, and viewing, and commenting, and all that good stuff. Uh, if you haven't, please do so. <laughs> really appreciate the likes and really appreciate the subs, guys. Uh, so anyway, Pisces. Let's talk about your meditative session, okay? Um, for those who are not familiar with meditative sessions, it's energy that I pick up in and around you. So it's energy that you're experiencing directly or someone connected to you energetically or someone in your energetic field, okay? So just keep that in mind, and it is energy, so it can be vice versa. So Pisces, I picked up a very, very commanding, demanding energy, and it felt like a gripping. And they actually they actually did show me, like, um, what would you call that? Like, I guess you call it a ball. It was glowing. So I guess orb but i like not it was very tangible it was very very tangible it just looked like a glowing ball okay so we'll just say a ball pisces i feel like this is your energy but it can be vice versa it just was so commanding the second i started to get into your energy it was like this is mine i've earned it i deserve it this is mine and i'm not giving it up to anybody you know it was very like very clear cut like you're not taking this shit from me no one's taking this shit from me it's mine i'm not letting it go I'm not letting it go. For some of you Pisceans, it could be a bit of a grudge energy, which I I don't I really don't feel like that's the case for you Pisces. So if it's, this is vice versa for you, I would not be surprised. But for some, it's like a grudge energy holding on to, to something where it's the point where it's almost taking on a whole um, like energy on into itself, like another person, even if it's just something that you can't get over, something that's again very grudge like, um, or it could be a person or a situation, or it could even be like a job opportunity, something that you feel is yours, something that you feel entitled to, and come hell or high water, no one's gonna grip it from your clutches, okay? That's kind of that's honestly how it feels, Pisces. Um, however, I gotta be honest with what I with what I, I got when I was prepping the cards too. Because we had some cards come out, which I used to do a pre-shuffle session, but I don't anymore because it takes a lot of time. But we did have the Nine of Cups come out with the Four of Wands in reverse. Yeah. That is someone who's happy to be single. Quite literally. Nine of Cups, the Four of Wands in reverse, that is like a wish fulfillment of no longer having a foundation to deal with. Or no longer, oh, I just heard obligation. No longer having an obligation to deal with. So Pisces... This was like two different sides of a, of the same story where someone is like, I'm not letting this foundation go. I'm not letting go of what I built of what because it feels like whoever feels that way, they put a lot of time and energy into it. Oh, feels like it's leaning on codependency. I gotta be honest, feels like it's leaning on a little bit of codependent energy of like, this is mine, I need it. It's mine, it's mine, it's mine. And you're not going to take it from me. You know, it's almost like you can't take it from me because I'm dependent on it. You know, that's kind of how it feels a little bit here. Where there's the other side of this of the situation is like, I'm very happy to not be dealing with this thing anymore. <laughs> I'm very happy to let the ball drop. I won't let the ball drop. I just heard I won't let the ball drop. Yeah, Pisces, this feels very clear cut. Like someone wants to hold on to something and the other person's like, no. <laughs> Can we just drop that ball? Can we just put it down and like put it away, pack it away and move on, move forward? So for some of you, this is about like one wants to leave a relationship, the other one doesn't. Or it could be that there was a situation that happened or some kind of upsetting event and they want to put it in the past, but you don't, right? It could be very much, it's that kind of energy. It's, it's one-sided. It's one-sided wants here, okay? Um... You know, Pisces, I do feel for some of you, this is in, in regards to your career as well, where you're not you're not backing down from something. Like, let's say, for example, in your career, you're working on a project or what have you, and someone wants to change it drastically, but you put a lot of time and effort into making it what it is. And if they change this one thing, it changes the whole thing. You're like, no, fuck that. <laughs> no, that was my baby. That was my baby. I did this, that, and the other, you're not fucking with shit. You know, so, some of you are definitely having that uh, stance here, and I feel like that's more work, okay? But that's definitely for some of you. Let's see what other messages we get out here. So for all of you who are new to my channel, new to Tarot, please know these are very general messages, very general. Uh, they will not resonate for everybody. Sometimes I get messages from multiple people, so stick around. There could be something for you. Uh, not all messages are for everyone, and messages come through for those who really need them who need them so if it's not your story this week someone else had to hear that there are plenty of readers on youtube that are fabulous please check them out we are working with energy as i said before so the roles can be reversed or vice versa if it's still resonating that way it still resonates right uh also don't get hung up on the gender of the cards nothing is gender specific we all have masculine and feminine energy okay pisces let's do this ah card vomits 
Okay. All right. Any messages for Pisces regarding love? September 12th to the 21st. Keep in mind, guys, we got that full moon in Pisces right around the corner during this uh, time. I say time because I really just do these timelines for organizational purposes. Whenever you're guided to watch a reading is when you're guided to watch it. Um, but Pisces, this full moon is like obviously your, is going to affect you and it's going to make your... Um, your intuition peak, just like with a lot of other water signs and mutable signs at that. Uh, and it's funny because I just realized full moons are about letting things go, but there's this energy of like, I'm not letting it fucking go. Pisces, if you're in that energy of like, I'm not letting this go, I'm not letting this go, it might be the full moon energy trying like nagging at you that you really should. Okay? Okay. If that if that's your if that's you, you know in your core. Okay, if that's you. Let's keep it going. Any messages for Pisces? Regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Okay. Any messages for Pisces regarding love? Oh, okay. See what we got here? Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Ho, ho. Oh, ho, Pisces. We have the Hierophant and the High Priestess. High Priestess is Piscean energy, also Gemini for me as a reader. The Hierophant is Taurian energy. Wow. For those who aren't aware, the Hierophant also acts as a high priest. That's also another um, way of looking at the Hierophant. So we have a high priest and a high priestess energy right here. Two of Pentacles right after that Capricorn energy. Oh, man. Some, I feel like something's being sorted between. I feel like these are two individuals. I Absolutely, Pisces. I feel like these are two individuals. Something's being sorted. Something's being sorted out, balanced out with the Two of Pentacles in a verse. I feel like it's almost like making way. That's a weird way to show me that spirit. Okay. Oh, someone's making a list. That's why they showed that to me. Okay. Sorry. They were showing me stuff. I just want to make sure I understood. They were actually showing me like, you know, when you're on a computer and you're like typing on like Microsoft Word or whatever. I don't know the Apple equivalent. Sorry. Um, and you're typing stuff out and you're like making edits. You hit delete, delete, delete. They just showed me that like deleting, that deleting. I was like, oh, that's a weird way to show me that. And they said list. Someone's making a list. Someone's making a list here on what they should do, what they need to do, and how to how to balance out a situation between a hierophant and a high priestess. These are two very wow. I'm just I'm amazed. These are two very very intuitive energies here. Incredibly intuitive, very telepathic. Could he honestly, guys? These could even be two light workers. You had a high priest and a high priestess here. That's like no joke. Top of their games is what I just heard. Top of their games. That's only going to be for a couple of you. And it doesn't have to be just in the spiritual field, but these are two very, very spiritual individuals, very gifted individuals here. But Two of Pentacles in Reverse, I, why do I feel like it's the Hierophant? Yeah, I feel like it's the Hierophant is trying to sort something out here between them and a high priestess energy. Yeah, it's like sorting, making room, what can be cut away? What doesn't need to be cut away? Even the way he's like messing with that Ouija board. I know it's a Ouija board, but it almost felt like that energy of like being on a keyboard, right? Like the way his fingers are like, are pointed and like looking, looking, looking. Yeah, this hair is actively strategizing and figuring shit out. This high priestess though, this high priestess is almost like going over what they already know. This is interesting. Whoever this high priestess energy is, they're going over what they already know almost like recapping recapping like just to keep me fresh on the, the events of, of what has transpired while the other one's actually planning and strategizing making way and oh, okay okay this is getting good this is getting good pisces let's see what else we got out here for you guys any other messages for pisces regarding love september 12th to the 21st okay we got two other cards out here any other messages for Pisces regarding love? September 12th to the 21st. Okay. Now we have, is that a six or a nine? Oh, that's the nine. Oh boy. Okay. Page of Swords and the Nine of Wands in reverse. Sag energy. This is someone giving up. This feels like completely different energy. What the hell is this? This feels like completely different energy. Over here, you have two individuals of like definitely cut from the same cloth. Cut from the same cloth. Uh, I feel like we're living very individual lives, though. Very individual lives. It feels, it feels like there's a lot of physical 
separation between these two, but two of pentacles in reverse, that's decisions being made, stuff being cleared out, things being freed up in order to like basically focus in on one in particular thing. And to find balance again, to find to find balance. And over here, we have an energy of someone giving up. Someone giving up. And this Page of Swords is very much like a watching energy. It's an analytical energy. Wanting to figure something out. Wanting to figure something out. Oh, and what to give up. Thank you. And when. Oh, interesting. And when to give up. So Pisces, it's very possible we have three people involved here with a Page of Swords and a Hierophant and a High Priestess. Um, but for some of you, it's just the Hierophant's energy of trying to figure out what to give up, when to give it up, what to walk away from. Do I walk away? Do we just give up? Do I just give up? It's that kind of energy. Overall, we have Page of Wands with the freaking Ten of Pentacles, guys. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles is Virgo energy. Ten of Pentacles is the ultimate security, ultimate abundance, having a, having a very stable home environment, stable money situation, stable career for decades, not just for a short period of time. And Page of Wands is that communication about it. That communication about it. Why does this feel like a business proposal? Um, whoever's pushing this, Pisces, someone's pushing this. Someone's pushing the idea of a Ten of Pentacles. Pushing, 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 pushing. Pisces, I feel like this is you. It's that energy of like, I'm not giving this up. I'm not giving this up. I'm not giving this up. I deserve it. I fucking earned it. I'm not giving this up. So let's look over here. To the High Priestess, the Hierophant, and the Two of Pentacles in a verse. I'm really curious about this Hierophant energy. So let's look at the Hierophant and then the Two of Pentacles in a verse. This Hierophant screaming as an individual. Yeah, let's take a look at this. Let me use Rider Wait to clarify. Tell me about the Hierophant for Pisces. Tell me about the Hierophant for Pisces. I'm sorry. I'm just really digging on this connection. This is really cool. I love I love it when when this kind of situation arises because you have two people who are incredibly, incredibly intuitive, connected spiritually, telepathically, living very individual lives, though. But it's almost like so much of what is said and done between these two is like not even in the 3D, if that makes any sense. It's like they don't have to say much to each other to know where the other is coming from or know what the other one's trying to say. You understand? You guys get what I'm saying? Yeah, it feels like a very three-dimensionally quiet connection. <laughs> Tell me more about the Hierophant. Tell me more about the Hierophant for Pisces. <coughs> Tell me more about the Hierophant for Pisces regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Where's my water? Where is it? Oh, well. Oh, well. I'll be fine. Tell me about the Hierophant. Oh, okay. Okay. Two of Wands. Aries energy. Making a choice to move forward here. What did I say? Making decisions. Trying to sort shit out. Right? Trying to figure out how to balance out between them and a high priestess. I, I feel constant back and forth energy. Honest, honestly, guys, between these two people, I feel like constant, constant back and forth energy. Constant. And it's like, again, nothing's actually spoken. Uh, anyway, Two of Wands, Aries Energy is the first clarifying card for the Hierophant. Yeah. The, okay. Yeah, that's what I mean by these people are so intuitive. They already know. This Hierophant knows which way to move. But it's like they have to make space first is kind of what I'm getting. They've already chosen. Look, look at the card. They've chosen. They have a world in their hand, their next cycle, their next moves. They have their hand on a wand. They know there's another option right there, but they've already chosen. Yeah, they've chosen. They're just making that space with the Two of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me about the Hierophant for Pisces. Tell me about the Hierophant for Pisces. Oh, Lord. Okay, we'll take these. Oh, wow. Queen of Cups in reverse. Cancerian energy could also be Pisces or Scorpio. Knight of Cups in reverse. Piscean energy could also be water or fire. Wheel of Fortune in reverse, Jupiter energy, and the Sun in reverse, Leo energy. So this is like, this is kind of an oppressive energy I'm actually getting with this. Whatever choice this Hierophant is making, we have a Queen of Cups here with a Knight of Cups, both in reverse. Like this is, again, I'm getting that codependent energy. And Pisces, this is no judgment on you. Again, this could be vice versa. And for some, like I said, there's even, there could even be three people involved in this because this feels like such a different energy than what I'm feeling over here. And we'll see how it plays out. So just keep that in mind. It could be another person feeling this way. But it's like, 
I'm feeling in a codependent energy attached to wanting more with the Knight of Cups in reverse, like wanting more than what they're getting in the emotional department, even though they're overflowing with emotion because they're not very balanced. Because they're not very balanced. This is something, this is a person that the Hierophant is deciding on is what I'm getting. Um, yeah, that's where I'm feeling the two sides of the different story where it's like, I need, I need, I need. It's mine. It's mine. You're not gripping this from my clutches. You're not gripping, gripping this from my clutches, Hierophant. You're not taking this from me because it's mine. Because it's mine. And the Hierophant, again, Hierophant is very knowledgeable, right? Usually it represents institution or even faith, spirituality, that sort of thing. Someone who's wizened, right? That's like you go to a Hierophant to learn from. And it's just like this Hierophant almost has nothing to say to this person is what I'm getting. They don't, yeah, it's like, yeah, they're trying to make space. This Hierophant knows what direction they want to go towards, but they've been dealing with this. Someone who's been wanting more and more and more of them from a codependent space, from a codependent emotional space. And Wheel of Fortune in reverse in the sun, it's just really delaying things. It's really delaying things. And this Hierophant knows it. This Hierophant knows it. Let's see what other cards we get out here. Tell me more about the Hierophant. Tell me more about the Hierophant for Pisces. Tell me more about the Hierophant for Pisces. Tell me more about the Hierophant for Pisces regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Okay, let's see what we got here. Ooh, but then we end in a Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn energy could, oh, hold on. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Capricorn energy could also be earth or fire here. This is someone who's very stable. What I feel like this is the high priestess energy. I bet if I pull cards for this, we would get a high priestess. I feel like this is actually the high priestess energy that this Hierophant is connecting with. Someone who's very stable. Someone. This is my multitasking queen. The Queen of Pentacles is like the multitasker. It's like they take care of the house. They take care of the money. They take care of the business. They take care of the people in their life. And they take care of themselves. <laughs> very Capricorn. Very Capricorn, right? Very different than this energy. This is someone who is not grounded, who is not balanced, who's really letting their emotions overtake them. This is someone who has their emotions in check and not just in check, but they know how to be practical about things and not let emotions affect their decision making. Well, this person, not so much. And this Hierophant, I can feel it. It's like, yeah, I feel really strongly. It's like this Hierophant needs to make a decision about, no, they've already made, they've already made their decision. They've already made their decision. Now they're just actively trying to make space here. But there's a connection between this Hierophant and this High Priestess that where this high, Hierophant sees this High Priestess as very stable, like the perfect partner in business or love and or otherwise, but the perfect partner. Overall energy for the Hierophant, we have Seven of Wands in reverse, Leo energy. I feel a reveal with this. I feel like this is no longer being guarded, no longer being guarded, not wanting to fight. Thank you. Not wanting to fight, exhausted from having to do that. So like I said, there was this energy of from this Queen of Cups of it's mine you're not taking it you're not taking it from me it's mine it's mine it's mine I need it I need this well the other energy is very much like I'd be happy to not have this <laughs> right so I feel like this Seraphon's been having to put up a little bit of a fight here with this Queen of Cups and it's like it's to the point where they're just like what else can I say and or do but just be very firm, right? Be very, be firm, but like, but not have to constantly argue my point, right? And just state facts. Being very transparent. Very transparent, non-aggressive. Thank you. Transparent, non-aggressive. Interesting. Okay. All right. So let's look at the two of pentacles in a verse. This is the act of making space, making space here. Um, I'm going to use gilded for this one. Then we're going to get into this energy, this page of swords energy. So I have the Two of Pentacles in reverse for Pisces. Now, Pisces, keep in mind, like I said, I definitely feel like three people are involved in this. At the very least, we got a Queen of Cups, a High Priestess, and a Hierophant, aka High Priest. Um, so decide who you are in this scenario. Tell me about Two of Pentacles in reverse for Pisces. Tell me about Two of Pentacles in reverse for Pisces. Regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Tell me about Two of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me about Two of Pentacles in reverse for Pisces. Regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles in reverse for my Pisceans. Let's see here. Oh, wow. Eight of Swords, Gemini energy, and the Five of Wands, Leo energy. Yeah, this is not a fun place to be, guys. 
<laughs> the Seraphant is not having fun in this energy of trying to make space. They want to make space. Um, I really feel like they want to keep pulling away from this uh, codependent energy. Especially with the Knight of Cups in reverse. That's like turning the love taps off, right? That's turning the love taps off. And the Two of Pentacles is making space to do that. It's literally dropping things and or people to make space for what's better. And it's been making this person very stressed out. It's been making this Hierophant stressed out. They've been dealing with a lot of fighting as well. A lot of uh, pushback. A lot of pushback to do this. So I have the Two of Pentacles in reverse for Pisces. Wow, page of wands in reverse. I'm I even getting gossip with this. With five of wands, <laughs> five of wands on the page of wands in reverse, that's the epitome of gossip from other people or backbiting from other people to do this, to pursue whatever path that this Hierophant wants to take. I do feel like at the core of it is this other person, the high priestess slash uh, queen of pentacles. I do feel like that's the person who's at the cor <laughs> corner, <laughs> who's at the core, who's at the core of this decision. Of where they want to go because they already know the hierophant already knows what they want so i got two of pentacles in reverse and i'm feeling that constant communication between those two tell me about two of pentacles in reverse tell me about two of pentacles in reverse for pisces tell me about two of pentacles in reverse for pisces oh boy oh it's getting interesting king of swords in reverse Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra with the Page of Swords in reverse. Overall energy for the Two of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Queen of Wands in reverse. Aries energy could also be Fire or Water. I do feel like this is more of that Queen of Cups energy here, even though it's also a, a, a Fire card here. Definitely feel like this is the same person. There's that anger. There's that anger that you're not taking that from me. You're not taking that from me. And in this case, it honestly feels like this queen's getting dropped. And I hate to say it so bluntly, but that's really how it feels with the Two of Pentacles in a verse. They feel lied to. Page of Swords in a verse and King of Swords in a verse. Yeah, it almost feels like this Queen of Cups is accusing this Hierophant of going back on their word. Whether it's true or not, I'm just the messenger. But that's how that's feeling. That's definitely how that's feeling. And it's leaving them to be very pissed off. Very pissed off, very upset. Underneath that, we do have judgment in reverse fire energy also scorpionic energy for me as a reader and eight of wands in reverse sag energy yeah this person <laughs> uh this person who's clinging here the fact that they're clinging and the fact that they're so upset even spirits kind of like hey 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 um might want to look at the silver lining here might want to look at you know the more you cling to this the angrier you are about this the more it's inhibiting you i feel like even spirits trying to tell that person that anyway let's move it forward we have this Page of Swords with the Nine of Wands in reverse. Let's look at the Page of Swords. <laughs> Let's look there. Because Nine of Wands in reverse, that just tells me giving up. That's a giving up energy here, okay? Let's look at the Page of Swords. Uh, Legacy? Yeah, let's do Legacy. Let's do Legacy. Tell me about the Page of Swords. Tell me about the Page of Swords for Pisces. Tell me about the Page of Swords for Pisces regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Tell me about Page of Swords for Pisces regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Tell me about Page of Swords for Pisces. Okay. Tell me about the Page of Swords for Pisces regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Oh, yeah, three of swords, Libra energy, heartbreak, also indicative of third parties, like I was indicating before. That's that definitely the case here for a lot of you. Um, but yeah, that's hurt, man. That's hurt and that's pain. Oh, wow. Yeah. We have Ace of Pentacles in reverse now. Missed opportunities. <sighs> snatching that, snatching that thing out of their hands here. That's what, yeah. Oh, man, I feel for this Queen of Cups. Yeah, this Queen of Cups is pretty upset. I, I definitely feel like this was another energy of like, all right, I, ju I just have to give up. I just have to give up. Um, that Three of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, that's feeling like their their precious thing that they've been clinging to for dear life has been ripped out of their hands. Pisces, if this is you, I'm greatly sorry. Um, it sucks. I know. It sucks. It sucks when you're in that place. Um but for any Pisceans who are in that position of being the Queen of Cups in reverse, of having this thing and clinging onto it so intensely, 
everything happens for a reason. And Pisces, this could be a really great opportunity for you to do some more healing, to do some more growing and realize that, okay, maybe this wasn't my best opportunity. Maybe there's a better opportunity waiting, right? Tell me about the Page of Swords. Tell me about the Page of Swords for Pisces regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Tell me about the Page of Swords for Pisces. Tell me about the Page of Swords for Pisces regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Whoa. Hold on a second. What do we got here? What do we got here? Wow. Four of Cups, Cancerian energy, and then we have the Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn energy could also be Earth or Water. This is that High Priestess energy here. I feel like they're in Limbo. That's interesting. Limbo land. Limbo land. Why, why is the high priestess in limbo land waiting? Okay, thank you. Waiting. Yeah, and that's what I mean. But it's like this high priestess and this hierophant here, these two individuals, they're in constant communique, spiritually speaking, like constant. I can feel it. It's constantly back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It's fucking constant. Um, but there's no like, there's not a whole lot of like three dimensional communication or action here between the two of them and it's that that's why this the queen of that's why the queen of pentacles has this four of cups energy um because it's like it's limbo land it's limbo land because they they know they know in their core that yeah there's a lot of telepathy and all that all that great stuff but what about three-dimensional right what about three-dimensional this queen of pentacles like i don't really know what to do with this situation anymore i don't know what to do with this situation anymore and that's coming through on the side of the queen of cups which is really interesting to me because the queen of cups is obviously hurting with this missed opportunity they know they know pisces you could very well be this queen of cups in the situation because the queen of cups is very intuitive as is the queen of pentacles um but there's this energy of like knowing about what the other person is feeling so the queen of cups in the situation just to reiterate is also picking up on the high priestess and what the high priestess is feeling and they're feeling this high priestess is in limbo land when it comes to this hair font oh this is a funky little triangle here mm. yeah god that's a rough place to be all right let's see what other cards come out here for the page of swords and then we'll wrap it up with some advice tell me more about the page of swords for pisces Tell me more about the Page of Swords for Pisces. You know, there's a lot of watching going on here. I gotta be honest. <laughs> Not liking that, actually. There's a lot of watching going on here. My Queen of Cups in reverse. You guys are definitely watching. Um, be mindful. Just be mindful. Like, if there's something you really aren't prepared to see, don't snoop. <laughs> right it's like if you're not prepared to see something don't put yourself in a position to see something because i think that's also why this uh queen of cups is picking up on this high priestess so much yeah i feel a little bit of snooping here a little bit of snooping tell me about page of swords tell me about page of swords for pisces regarding love september 12th to the 21st that's it overall energy eight of swords in reverse release gemini energy this is beautiful energy guys pisces like i said if you are this queen of cups in this scenario it's leading to better things because you will be released from the situation and you can start to heal those wounds that something was snatched out of your hands you can start to heal that okay um and again this is also an energy of giving up and releasing and and again this weird acknowledgement of the other person it's like the queen of cups not only is acknowledging what the hair font is trying to do but they're also acknowledging what what the high priestess is feeling but there's constant fourth dimensional dream space communication between these two does that make sense so it's a funky little triangle it almost seems like three very intuitive people involved in this um but there's a lot of spying there's a lot of spying okay a lot of spying going on here so some of that might not be intuitive a lot of that could just be i know what i saw <laughs> <laughs> right i know what i saw um that could definitely be the case for some people but anyway pisces whether you're the hierophant the high priestess or the queen of cups in this scenario it seems like things are getting wrapped up to some extent it's it's unpleasant it's an unpleasant wrap up because look at this with gossip and backbiting too i just it just doesn't feel good it doesn't feel good it doesn't feel like it's ending in the most smoothest of ways but whoever's gripping so hard if they can learn to really just truly let it go 
everyone can have peace in the situation, okay? So let's go ahead and look at some advice. And you guys know me, I don't condone cheating or anything like that. You guys know I don't. This could all be business. This could all be business. This could be between, you know, two people at work who are very, hold on, two people at work who hold the same position versus someone who's a little bit, maybe not as high in the ranks, right? Any advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Any advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Any advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Hi. Any ad eh, advice? I almost said advance. Any advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Any advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Ooh, White Raven Spirit, Trust in Magic, 66 is a master number. Freaking love this card. Okay, this is basically, this is alluding to that connection I was feeling. It was definitely alluding to that connection I was feeling here. That trust in what you're picking up on. So for any of my high priests and high priestesses who are watching this where it's resonating, trust in this connection, because you already know. Like I said, the Herophon knows. The Herophon knows. The Herophon already knows what they want. And it's something relating to this connection, whether it's to start a romantic something or other or a business something or other, because these are two people of the same caliber. They're of the same standing. They hold the same things. It's just a masculine versus a feminine side of that. But they hold the same things. They're cut from the same cloth. And like I said, there's constant, like constant spiritual contact. It's like, yeah, let's say it that way. It's like there's constant spiritual contact here with these two energies, constant. And it is happening for a reason and to trust in that to trust in that hierophants and high priestesses trust in that it feels magical because it, it is <laughs> i mean just plain and simple it feels magical because it is and it's going to bring about more magical things right all parties need to trust that everything is happening in the way it's supposed to happen all parties do including this queen of cups the person who's clinging any other advice for my pisceans regarding this spread oh jesus I know, deck really wants to talk today. Wow. Claim your independence. 13 breaking down to a 4 and crow spirit. Co-create with spirit. 17 breaking down to an 8. Yeah, this is about establishing, establishing those boundaries in that codependent energy I was feeling, right? Like I said, an energy of like, I need, I need, I need this because it's mine, it's mine, it's mine. And you're not gripping it from my cold, dead hands. You're not. <laughs> very persistent, also very agitated. Hold on. If I can pick up all these cards very agitated coupled with that queen of wands energy that's a little bit of bitterness here guys and that's not a good place for anybody to be no one should have to go there no one should have to go there and i do feel for the person who's experiencing that um but that's what the advice is here is is right here is to pull away from that codependent energy for my queen of cups and also for the hair funds to establish more of a boundary with this it's almost like this is how spiritual these two people are um the hair fonts advice here Keep manifesting independence for this Queen of Cups. Sending them healing energies, sending them that at that manifestation and energy of you are independent, you are full of self-love, you can do anything you want on your own. And having that sense of independence, I think, is really important for this Queen of Cups. But it's important for just to be able to establish an interdependent relationship moving forward. But quite clearly, it's just it's at that point where this Queen of Cups has to go do that, right? has to go and do that but this is manifestation energy with that crow spirit and i really feel like it's coming from the hair font being sent to the queen of cups if that makes any sense here okay very interesting Let's see what else we have yeah with cat spirit i'm getting a lot of that death energy that 13 just reminded me of the death card yeah, this Queen of Cups is just gonna have to go through some healing for a little bit and I, and that's very important we all need that we all need that at some point any other advice for my Pisceans? Any other advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Oh, that's it. Just one other card came out. What did I say about healthy boundaries? Armadillo spirit, set healthy boundaries with the energy of three. Also in regards to these two, by the way, if any of you are, again, are the high priest here or the high priestess, 
Harry Priest also means Hierophant. I don't know why I felt the need to reiterate that. Anyway, if you feel like the spiritual contact is like just too much, set those boundaries. <laughs> You can set those boundaries with the two of you, you can. Uh, and especially with these two people, I, I feel like I don't even have to like tell you how. You would already know how. You would already know how, but I love you guys. I just heard, I don't want to. <laughs> I just heard, I don't really want to. I don't really want to put up boundaries in this connection. Oh, that's really interesting. Uh, I, why does that make me smile so much? Um, oh, because it's beautiful. That's pretty beautiful. Uh, to be really comfortable with someone else's energy hitting you often, um, like daily, this feels daily, and to really be okay with that. If you're not, you obviously set those boundaries. You put up your energetic shields and what have you, and you keep people out. Um, but this is definitely relating to that independence energy, right? The independent energy, learning to not, learning to be comfortable with 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 what is going on within yourself, being content with yourself and loving yourself to the point where you don't have to get that energy from someone else, right? For the Queen of Cups here who are watching. And guys, I'm not trying to throw any shade or judgment. We've all been there. We've all been there, but that's what this is. It's setting those boundaries to have a healthy relationship with yourself and with others for the Queen of Cups and for the Hierophant and I Priestess. You, these two people are very independent as is. I'm definitely feeling that. But if boundaries ever need to be placed here, I feel like it wouldn't be a problem for these two because it definitely would just be energetic boundaries. I don't feel a whole lot of physical contact with those two. Um, but just remember, trust in the magic because it is magical. Um, overall advice, we have vulture spirit. Ooh, nothing is wasted. 63 breaking down to a nine. This is about completions. Completions and really going over every little detail is what I'm getting with this actually. What is this? Like, they're showing me crumbs. I feel like it's relating to this connection. What are, what are these crumbs? What are these crumbs? With these two people, there's a diving into each other, is actually what I'm getting with this. <laughs> diving into each other, I just heard a Chris Rock joke. Um, where it's like, you, you can't just like, you know, it's like toast. Like, you can't just love like the yummy bread soft part of them you have to love like the crimity little crumbs at the bottom of the toaster too um there's something about diving into each other because it's such an intense spiritual connection um where you are seeing each other's crumbs and it's like it's not that scary that's kind of cute it's not that scary it's not that scary, but you're really picking over each other's bones is what I'm getting. Like, and it, it feels so like, guys, this is not gonna be for everybody, obviously, but this feels so like high vibe energy that it's just like, feels like it's all done in multiple multi dimensions, like not done in 3D at all, um, but really picking apart the bones of each other and really seeing like the little crimity crumbs of each other and being cool with that, being cool with that. Because these two people are very independent anyway. These people don't, okay, let me put it another way. These people don't really give a shit what other people think about them. <laughs> that's, what they, that's what these two people are all like. I could not give a shit what you think about me or what you think about what I do or what I've been through or what have you. But I think because both people are like that, it makes it easier for them to share. Even if it's all just done in the fourth dimension or fifth dimension or higher. Wow, that's a really awesome connection. I like that. By the way, on the bottom of that, mm, yeah, draft spirit. See the big picture. 29 breaking down to an 11. Very intuitive card, being able to see, like I said, everything. I didn't even know that was under there. Um, and then we move into manifestation. But I can go further and further, but I won't. Pisces, let's, let's put this one to bed. Let's put this one to rest. Again, Queen of Cups out there, my heart goes out to you. I know this is tough, but it's a lesson that a lot of us have to learn about interdependence versus independence and codependence, right? They're all just lessons and they're, they make us stronger. And, you know, you might feel like this opportunity was ripped out from your hands, but doesn't mean that there's an even better one for you, right? Probably a, a much better, more conducive one for you. While there's a lot of stuff going on between these two individuals that clearly needs to be looked at, trusted. Yeah, I, what is there something about trust with this? More like indulged in. It's more like indulged in as opposed to trusted in because overall there's a push to a ten of pentacles. This could be a very abundant connection between these two, whether it's just business or romance or otherwise. For some, this is purely business. Others, it's romantic. So just decide how that is for you. Okay, Pisces, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Have a great night, Pisces. Namaste.